Well, hello, everybody. I'm Harold. This here's Bernard. He's my assistant. Now, we're grave diggers. I know what you might be saying. How do you dig graves with a shovel that's smaller than a grave? Well, with a lot of skill and talent. That's how. But really, what we do is we use this shovel to hit all four corners, and then we go from there. I learned that. Now, Bernard. Yeah? This here is Mary Yale. Have you heard of the Yales? Uh, no, I have not. Well, they donated a lot of money to the school. I'll give you one guess what the school's name is. Moses Y. Beach. See, this is why I do the thinking. It's Yale. Yale University. Mary Yale, Yale University. Got it? Got it. Good. Let's go. You know who this is, Bernard? Who is it? This is Abraham Doolittle. Oh, it is? It is. He was one of the first surveyors of this town. Is that so? That is so. He had something like 22,000 descendants. That many? That many. They even have a park named after them. Wow. Mm-hmm. Isn't that interesting? Quite interesting indeed. All right, let's go. This man had a lot of wives, wow. Bernard! Oh! Hard working man's gotta have lunch. This right here is peanut butter and jelly. Man of the gods. Yeah. And this guy, he's Lyman Hall. He has like a school named after him. But he didn't really live here. Heck, he ain't even buried here. The only thing he did was sign the Declaration of Independence. This guy was pretty cool. And what makes you think that? Well, he was Moses Yale Beach, founder of the Associated Press. You know what the Associated Press is? Um, I don't think so. Of course he doesn't. Associated Press is the organization that gives all the articles to the newspaper. Do you read newspapers? Um, yeah, I read the newspapers. You can read? What kind of newspaper do you read? The Wall Street Journal. You know, this guy also has a school named after him. Oh, he does? Yeah, do you know what it's called? Yale University. Moses Y. Beach. Beach. Oh. He's also part of the family that founded Yale. Come on, we got work to do. 